What's up, Jeff here with Godbolt Exotics. Uh, wanted to do a little uh, update on probably two of my favorite snakes in my collection, and those are the Baron Kia Locale Colombian Boas. So um, these guys are Boa Imperator from what I've been able to gather. Um, according to Vin Russo's book, he talks about how the ranges of boa constrictor um, actually overlap the ranges of imperator so these guys are not a constrictor possibly they are a natural occurring hybrid between the two but um, the other interesting thing to point out is he does make note that uh, these guys um, have a different scale count from what other Imperator have. So I just thought it would be fun to kind of take these guys out and I have a pair. Um, I've had them since they were babies and uh, this is my male. Um, he's kind of squirmy right now, but all in all, they are probably my favorite snakes. They are just very, very pretty. Um, this is not, not a morph. Uh, you can tell, you know, the color is just popping off these snakes and they're also very, very placid and tractable. Um, so I'll later on in the video, I'll show you guys pictures of their cages, but they're in 34 or 36 by 18 by 18 uh, with a big piece of um, wood across that they can kind of lay on and bask. But uh just all around really, really awesome snakes. Uh, if there's people at my house that are not snake people, um, I will take these guys out because they rarely um, show a defensive posture and they also don't get super big. So from everything I've been able to gather, uh, this male is probably breedable just based off age. Uh, these guys are around three years old, um, and I'm not a heavy feeder, but he should be able to, to breed now. Um, that tail is just awesome. I don't know if it's picking it up, but just a, just a beautiful, beautiful animal. Um, and I'm going to take the female out here in a few minutes, but I have found them to be just really, really easy. They never refuse a meal at all. It doesn't matter if it's a rat, a mouse, um, they will always eat. They have basically the appetite of a Kribo or a, um, like a Wilma Python. They just are little garbage disposals. And um, it, you do need to be careful not to overfeed them because they're not ever gonna refuse a meal, even if opaque or in shed, uh, but they are just absolutely awesome snakes. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see all that peach and red that's being picked up on, the, on their lateral sides, but uh, they're just an awesome, awesome species and one that I really, really hope to reproduce. And there's not very many people working with them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy up. Just wanted to show a quick update of these guys and I'm gonna pull out the female who's a little bit bigger, so. Okay, so this is the female. Um, she's a good bit bigger, um, but and a little bit darker, but you can see all this peach on her sides. 
Um, just a really, really beautiful animal. She just shed out. Actually, both of them just shed out. But these guys are taking uh, frozen thawed small rats without fail. Um, look at their face. You probably can't see, make out all the peach and red on the face. But they're just, I, I just can't say enough good things about them. I absolutely love these snakes. This species is just is just such a such a cool species and i'm surprised that there's not more people working with them right now but like you know that's that's not a morph they really are that color just the wild type um and you can see all the the peach and orange undertones on the belly i don't get too wrapped up in the belly you know because you don't see it that much but they really are a beautiful species and they have really, really pretty contrasting pattern here on the on the dorsal, but uh, beautiful speckling up. Let's see if I can get her to show up underneath with all those peaches. Um, just a just an all around awesome species to work with. So if you guys haven't um, picked any of these up yet, I uh, do know Michael Beach of Woodcliff Herps um, has them, as does Brian Villa, is it Villanueva? He's in the Bay Area. I, I don't know exactly, forgive me, Brian, uh, but he's got a YouTube channel. I'm sure you guys know who it is. Um, Vin Russo, Russo, I believe, has some. And um, so I got mine from William Babcock. Um, he was one of the founders of the habitat system cages in the early 2000s. Um, that's who I got mine from. Uh, but these are just awesome, awesome snakes. And, you know, if you're wanting something that doesn't get too big, uh, that's pretty tractable, meaning you can handle them um, on most days, and something that's also gonna be easy to feed and you're not gonna run into the headaches of picky feeders, these guys are a great option. You know, maybe you're not into morphs. Um, this is the natural wild type color of these guys. So I really think they're a, a fantastic species that is much more docile compared to a lot of the true red tails and they are not gonna get super big, so you can actually take them out. Now, I do believe she's gonna get a little bit bigger. My plan is to pair these guys later this year. Um, and, you know, she's kind of moving around, but they're just, she's just checking things out just like the male was. But yeah, I'm gonna pair these guys up later this year, and hopefully I'll get a, a nice, healthy litter of them. I don't know litter size, I've not, all that familiar with all the specs on these. I've never bred them before, but um, I'd like to, to, you know, if I can produce babies, hold back another pair because I have not one negative thing to say about them, really. Um, and they're fairly affordable. So like, you know, they, you can get a pair for under a thousand bucks. Um, and I, think pairs are somewhere in the $800 range for a pair. Um, I'm not quite sure. I was offered a, um, like a yearling male for 375, not too long ago. Um, uh, granted females will probably be a little bit more expensive. Uh, but I hope you guys see like all the things that I, that I love about them, like the benefits and stuff. So um, very, very unique, and they're they're a nice change of pace from my Amazon tree boas, and uh, yeah, so I thought this would be fun just to show you guys a little update. They've just shed out, they're looking great, and they've put on a little bit of size since my last update video, so um, we are uh, on our road to being able to pair these guys up here later this year, um, you know, for the 23-24 breeding season, so... Anyway, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe, comment if you guys have had any experiences with these guys or if you know of a breeder that I left off that works with them, make sure you comment below and I'll, uh, I'll do my best to respond. And 
if there's any you know noteworthy experiences you've had with them make sure you share that uh, below as well because i'd love to learn uh, from other keepers of of this species um, so that i can be better with the ones i have okay guys take care stay safe and don't sweat the small stuff peace yeah.